Good morning, good afternoon guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family. Oi! YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Uh, in today's beautiful video, again, four amazing Bitcoin charts. Yes, of course, a trading tip, travel tip, of course, some live advice and talking about the news because something is happening to the communistic state of the USA. Watch the complete video to see my opinion on that. Let's jump into the first part, the beautiful charts. Bam! The first chart for the day, guys, yes, not zooming in today, only zooming out, um, is this beautiful chart that you can see here is a three monthly candle chart. So every candle is three months. And every time when we see these candles bottom out at about a light blue line, that is the moment you should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. I've been telling you this already for months now, and I can still tell you this because we're still not above that mid bluish line. So which is now purple on this chart. The moment we start to cross that purple lish line, that is the moment that we are going to go into the second part of the bull market and it's going to be explosive. And that is the moment it gets more risky to start accumulating Bitcoin from there. Now, it's still a beautiful moment to start accumulating Bitcoin and to take a shitload of profits if we would reach the red top line. If we would go below it, that would be somewhere between 140 and 240K per Bitcoin. Beautiful three monthly chart indicating it's still a perfect moment to buy Bitcoin now. If we zoom out, then we look at this monthly chart. On this monthly chart, you can see the Gunnar EMA. And every time when we cross above that Gunnar EMA, that is the start of the bull market. Even in 2018 19, when we crossed above that, we didn't go down below that line anymore. Only during the COVID crash with a wig, but not with a full body. So this beautiful cup that you see there, that is being divided by that downward trend line, is an important indicator in this industry. Every time it happens again and again and again. We have that beautiful downward trend line now in 2022-23. We had that cup starting, we are crossing that cup, and we are now breaking out of that cup. And that is the moment we won't go lower back down again and we will go into a massive bull run you should still buy Bitcoin at the moment. Look to the left what happened after this pattern. Every time again and again, except for that COVID crash, we went a shitload higher. And even with that COVID crash, we went a shitload higher, but we had a dip. And I know that you're thinking, oh, ah, maybe there will be this economical crisis, maybe there will be the, the black swan event, and maybe I will be able to buy it in that next week that will happen. But what if not? What if the spot EDF will be approved? What if everything is changing? Then you're too late and then you're missing this beautiful bull market. Now, for all those bears out of there, yes, there is also a bearish scenario. And a bearish scenario I've been sharing with you also already for weeks, we could pull back to that 30K levelish. And why? Because if you look at this trend line, you can see on this beautiful day chart, this is more zoomed in now, that yes, we are finding a line of trend line of resistance. So we need to break this resistance line to become even more bullish. So if you look to the left now, you can see that line was support for many times. One, two, three, four green, uh, four green arrows. And now already resistance for three times, three red arrows. And if you look to the bottom part of the chart, you can also see that the RSI is topping out. And mostly when the RSI is topping out, in combination with the fact we're locking into resistance, could lead to a small pullback. I believe the pullback would be and stay above 30K. So put your buy orders around 30K levels, maybe even 28K with a wick. So 28K buy order, 29K buy order, 30K buy order. Put those buy orders there if you want to be sure. If you will break this line with a candle and retest that line again, then again, we are taking off even on the daily chart. Then we have this beautiful chart. This is the CBBI rainbow line that is displaying the Bitcoin price using the CBBI score. Uh, the CBBI score is a combination of many scores. I will show you over here. So it's the Pi cycle top, it's the RUPL, the NUPL, it's the R hodl, it's well multiple, it's a two year moving average, it's the Bitcoin trollolo trend line, it's the MVRV, 
is the reserve risk and is the wubo. So these all combined are creating these colors. So that is a very beautiful indicator to check where we are now and taking in consideration a shitload of indicators combined. And we are now at that greenish yellowish color. Look to the left. What, what happened when we start to go from green to a little bit lighter green to yellow? That was the bull market start, guys. And that happened every time near the halving. The first halving over there, you see it. The second halving, 2016, again, from darker green to lighter green. And now the third halving there, 2020, again, from darker green to lighter green to yellow, and then the bull market top. So if you look at the CBBI confidence, we are not even near the health of the top where we are in 2021 or 2017, 18. So yes, it's a perfect moment to accumulate Bitcoin, guys. Don't let all those people fool you. We will fall back to 20K or 12K. It's not going to happen. Buy Bitcoin now. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. Those charts were perfect on target, not like my shot. My shot was not really on target. I'm going to show you that I can shoot on target. But the charts are showing us again. This is the part of the bull cycle, the pre-bull cycle run, that you need to start accumulating Bitcoin. It's not too late yet. We are still below 40K, so you can still double or even triple your capital by getting into Bitcoin now. If you are not buying Bitcoin now, I don't know anymore when you want to buy. I would then just sell it out to 2026 to the next bear market bottom, but more about that when I answer the question of one of the followers. Let's jump into the trading tip after I beautifully score a goal. Bam. Yes, perfectly, in the corner, in the Ecke, as we said it, in Germany and the Netherlands. <laughs> Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is about candlesticks. Educate yourself on candlestick patterns. What is a doji? What is a hammer? What is a dragonfly doji? What is an engulfing pattern? Understand the patterns before you start to trade. There's a beautiful chart, there's a beautiful picture over here that shows you a lot of these patterns. Pause the video and check them for yourself or Google candlestick patterns on uh, Google and you will find a lot of cheats like this one that will help you to understand all these candlestick patterns. Yes, it's very important when you trade that you understand the candlestick patterns. What does the long wig mean? What does the short wig mean? What does the long body mean? What does the short body mean? Do understand it before you trade. I'm going to score another goal now. Left outside foot. Bam. Yes. Also go. It's as simple as that. Easy, easy peasy. That's how I trained every day again and again and again to become a good footballer. Now you need to start trading every day and a day and a day again to become a better trader. Let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. The travel tip is about meeting the local people. Use platforms like Meetup or any other beautiful social platforms that you can use to connect to the local people out there. Even the sharing economy can help you with this. So when you're traveling, try to connect to the local people. It will make your travels way more fun. You will save a lot of money because they know the cheapest deal and the you know, cheapest way to get into an amusement park and all that stuff. And yes, also you get to meet new people with their new cultures in those new countries. So it's very important when you travel that you try to use as much as possible hospitality apps like Meetup or Couchsurfing, whatever app there is, to meet local people and to make your travels a little bit more beautiful. And yes, there's another ball. And with a bad ball, I can also score a goal. Look. In, of course. Yeah, that's as simple as this. Travel tips today, meet local people. Let's jump into the next part. The news is that a black cat is watching me. No, that's not the news, guys. The news for today, guys, is very worrying news. In the United States, the land of the free, I don't believe it's the land of the free anymore. I think it's turning into this communistic state at the moment. Can I even say that on YouTube? Yes, I can, because that's my honest opinion. The IRS and the Department of Justice, they now did this proposal that it should be able for them to confiscate your bitcoins without even receiving an approval of a judge. So just when they see you on the street with a big car or a beautiful watch or beautiful clothes and they think you did something illegal with bitcoin, they can confiscate them without asking the judge for an approval. 
that is the weird thing out there. You're putting power in the wrong people's hands. And I don't understand the reason why they do that. Because if you look at the last decade, they already confiscated a shitload of Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies from people that apparently did illegal stuff. So the rule is not necessary. They were already confiscating these Bitcoins when it was necessary, when there was this illegal activity being done. So why does there need to be a new rule now to be able to confiscate them without any approval of a judge? This is not democratic anymore. This is not freedom anymore. That's a hardcore communistic state that wants to control everything you say, everything you do, everything you own. By 2030, you won't own anything and you will be happy. Does that ring a bell? All these steps are coming closer and closer to that beautiful view of that idiot Schwab out there. I don't understand why people, if you're American and watching this video, still live in those countries. You're not allowed to trade on certain exchanges anymore. You're not allowed to use your leverage on an exchange. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. And now they want to confiscate it if you even just have Bitcoin without any reason or any approval of a judge. I would get the fuck out of there, guys. And if we're talking about amounts that they already confiscated in the last decades, these are huge numbers. There is no need for this rule as they are already confiscating with approval of a judge. Where is the justice system in this? If you are going to allow people to take your cryptocurrencies without approval of a judge, where is the justice? There is no justice. There is no Statue of Liberty. They should like take down the Statue of Liberty now. There is no liberty anymore. I don't understand why people are allowing this to happen. I think between 2012 and now, the FBI confiscated almost 420 million US dollar worth of cryptocurrency. Yes, you heard me right. 420 million dollar worth of cryptocurrency were confiscated by the FBI. And if we're talking about the IRS, from 2018 to 2023, they confiscated 3.6 billion US dollar worth of cryptocurrencies. So 420 million and 3.6 billion US dollar were confiscated in the last decade with the legal system. Yes, with approval of a judge. So why would we need to adjust that rule if it's already working in a very democratic, legal way that is honest for everyone? I really don't understand this big shift, but if I would be living in the United States, I would be gone in 60 seconds to the new land of the free. It could be any other country that is on your list that has a little bit more freedom than the United States, but it's not the USA anymore, guys. That is a huge shit show. Gary Gensler, all those lunatics and all those retards now ruling that country. It's not about Bitcoin. It's not about cryptocurrency. It is about fighting against freedom. It's them not wanting you to have freedom. It's you wanting to have freedom. But they are winning the fight because you let them win. And as long you use their currency, the US dollar, they will be in control. The moment you start to use our currency, they will lose control. But you keep supporting them by using the dollar, by paying tax in the dollar, by putting everything you own in dollar on their bank accounts. And they use that money to control you tremendously. And because they know that they have the power because they control that monetary system, they don't want you to have cryptocurrency because what would happen if you got a little bit more power? If you got to live in a beautiful, peaceful, anarchistic state instead of in a communistic state? That is not what they want. You need to stay poor. You can't get rich. You can't have or own Bitcoins because you will become rich. And if they can't take it in the legal way, they will now take it in a very simple way because they don't need any approval of a judge anymore.
It's not about Bitcoin. It's not about cryptocurrencies. It's about freedom. They are taking away your full freedom. And you should stand up and not allow that. It's a collective fight. It's a peaceful revolution that we are all fighting together as a Bitcoin community. It's not about money. It's all about freedom. And not just about money, it's also about freedom of speech, freedom of acting, freedom of indeed also using your money whenever you want, wherever you want, on this beautiful world. It all comes down to freedom. And I think Bitcoin and blockchain are the perfect tools for us to keep that freedom and to pass on that freedom to the next generation, my children. They also want to live in a free world. They don't want to live in a world where they are like monitored 24 seven by cameras. If they crosswalk wrongly or if they do something wrong, which is now really normal, their cryptocurrency is confiscated without any trial. That's not freedom. That's fucking prison, a communistic prison. Let's stand strong and fight this fight together and just fight those people that now want to disrupt our freedom. And we can fight those people they want to disrupt our freedom by disrupting their monetary system. The moment we use our currency, we will come in control. If we keep using their currency, we are not disrupting their monetary system and they will stay in control. That was the news for today. Pup. That's how you uh, stop the ball, guys. Um, let's jump into the next part. The next part is answering the question of one of the followers. It was a very good question. The question was, Didi, if we are at the bull market top, let's say 2025, would it be a valid move to do a short from the top all the way to the bottom? Of course, that's a valid move. But his question is, will then the fees eat up your profits? I don't believe that the fees will be eating up your profits because the bear market is always a bear market of 12 months. So every bull cycle ended with a bear market of 12 months. So from the top to the bottom took only 12 months. So the fees will not be eaten up, I think, in that short period of time. But you need to do a low leverage short from the start and the moment you get more bullish, when the Bitcoin price starts to crash, 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 you can increase the leverage and the amount. But I will always start with a low leverage amount because the possibility of a double top is always there. So you're shorting it with a huge leverage, with a huge liquidation possibility. We come down like in 2021, bam, and we end up again for a double top, then you're gone. So I will always start with a short, but then with a low leverage short to see how it does and then start to increase that position bit by bit, the more we go down. The fees won't eat up that short. For example, I had a long open for over one and a half year because I was going long, by Bitcoin price crashed. I was at a liquidation point of 12K in Bitcoin, so I kept it open. I'm like, it's not gonna fall to 12K. So I kept it open for one and a half year till two or three weeks ago when we went above 34K again and then closed my long, still in profit. The fees were something like $200 or $300, but the profit was way higher because it was a big position. So you just make sure that you start small, start to increase your position, start to increase the leverage, the more bullish you get. And then in the end, you take a shitload of profit at the end of the bear market, where you buy back a shitload of Bitcoins again also with all the spot Bitcoins that you sold at a beautiful price. You start the dollar cost average again around 2026, 2027 at the bear market bottom. Uh, that is my answer to your question. I hope you like it. If not, comment down below again. Uh, the life advice for the day is a very beautiful life advice. I think it's very important for everyone out there to now and then take a risk. By taking risk, you grow as a person. Do try to take the risk and step outside of that box that you're living in. If you never take a risk, life can become very boring. You always need to look at the both outcomes of that risk. You have a positive and you have a negative outcome. But that negative outcome might not be as negative as you think. And then when you get convinced that that negative outcome is not that negative at all, you can allow yourself to take that risk. 
and these and those risks that you take will make you grow as a person you will become more confident on taking these small risks in life because they will lead to the adventures they will lead to the unknown they will lead to that thrill feeling that everyone is searching for so never stop taking risks don't become this structured suit person that never wants to take a risk and only wants to listen to its boss like a robot like this do live life don't be afraid to live life grab life by the balls as they say you're in control you can create your own life and you can determine which risks you want to take to do that it's simple as that you are the one making everyday's decisions so you can also make the decisions of now and then taking that risk and i'm not only talking about investment risk like we did going all into bitcoin you all saw that as a risk i all saw that by then as a security <laughs> <laughs> For me, that was a different kind of security. I knew sure that Bitcoin was only going up because of the 21 million Bitcoins out there and the demand growing vastly every four-year cycle. Not the other type of security you are talking about now. The negative part of that risk could be that we lose all our capital. And that is exactly what we realized. But we also realized losing all our capital is not that like bad. We can start over again. We can take jobs, and when we have jobs for a couple of months, we can take a mortgage again and buy a house. We will survive, and we slowly start to realize that we lost the fear of losing everything. Because losing everything was just materialistic stuff. It was not losing my health. I would still live. We would still wake up together as a family. We would always be able to use our talents again to get a new job and to earn an income to buy some food or rent an apartment. It would mean, yes, we would not live that luxury life anymore that we lived before we went all in, but we would work ourselves up to that level again. So when we start to understand that risk was nothing and we lost the fear of losing everything, that is the moment we were able to grab life by the balls and tell life, fuck it. You thought I was gonna live in this square my whole fucking life? do office jobs from 20 to 60 years old exactly that part of the life that you could be climbing at Kilimanjaro that you could be exploring the world that you could do all that stuff that you can't do anymore when you get older and older and older because you're physically going downwards this phase between 20 and 60 that is the phase you need to live life to the fullest that is the phase you can do all those adventures that you want to do in your dreams. When you get older than that, you will be a grandpa. You want to spend time with your grandchildren. Or you're physically not capable and you know, to climb the Kilimanjaro or do all that crazy stuff. A few are, but the biggest part aren't. So I decided at that time with my wife, that phase between 20 and 60, we are going to do it every day. We are going to enjoy our life to the fullest every day because we're able to do it at that moment. So we lost the fear of losing everything. And we won the courage to change life. I think that's very important for people to understand. It is a difficult step, but it's only the first step that makes it difficult. When you take that first step, when you open that closed door and you walk through it, and you start to allow your guts to tell you what to do, that is the moment everything will change automatically for you. And you will slowly lose the fear of it becoming a disaster. And you will gain the trust in it becoming a beautiful adventure. And then it will probably end the same way it ended for us, with multiple situations that we could have never predicted and they happened. When we opened that door, we thought, ah, maybe this is going to happen, or maybe that is going to happen, or maybe this is going to happen. That all didn't happen. But a shitload of things, other things, that we didn't expect that or plan, did happen, and they were all positive. There was not one situation that we could say of now, ah, we should not have opened that door. So my advice, start to open those doors. You can walk through them, but you can also return back if you don't like it. 
that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy today's video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment and let me know what you think about these videos i'm making it in the garden today because my brother his wife and my niece joan are here for the last day they're going to go for three weeks to the islands so they slept at our house so i'm going to wake up tomorrow this morning and do some breakfast with them and yes i won't end this video without hitting that white bar so i'm going to take that ball and kick it against that white bar there because I want to prove I can do it. Boom! I am the champion. And yes, I won't lie. That was the third try. <laughs> I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again, guys. Uh, wish you beautiful... What is it? Wednesday? It's Thursday. Wish you a beautiful Thursday. Hopefully, see you tomorrow again, guys, for another beautiful video. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bam!